Hi, thank you for your interest in the Department of Mathematics and Computer Science at Santa Clara University. My name is Tamsin McGinley. I'm one of the professors in our department. I'm going to tell you a bit about what we have to offer. So I'll give me a brief overview of this presentation. We'll start by going over the curriculum in both computer science and mathematics. I'll talk about the minor requirements and AP credit. I'll give you an overview of the differences between computer science in our department, which is CSI, versus computer science and engineering in the engineering school, which is denoted by CSANG. And then I'll give you some specific information about our department. Our curriculum in computer science includes a first year sequence in, uh, taught in C++. It begins with an introduction to C++, um, object-oriented programming, and data structures. We have four quarters of calculus, and then a couple of sophomore level courses, one in discrete mathematics and one in linear algebra. Our students take a lab science in anthropology, physics, chemistry, or environmental science. They take a couple of classes in the computer science and engineering department, machine language and logic design. And then some upper division classes, Math 122 is probability, uh, theory of algorithms, automata theory, class in the engineering program with the lab, and then five, upper, up, five other upper division courses in computer science, mathematics, or computer science and engineering. We have several emphases within computer science, and this is required for a student. We have one in algorithms and complexity, security, data science, software, and then a student-designed emphasis. And right now we have examples of student-designed emphasis, including um, studio art and graphic design, and one with biology. In mathematics, our, our students take the first programming class, the introductory programming class, CS10, four quarters of calculus, math 11 through 14. 23 is a, is a differential equations course. Math 51 is discrete mathematics. 52 is an introduction to abstract algebra. And then 53 is linear algebra. These are our sophomore level foundation courses. The math majors take two quarters of physics and the associated labs and then seven upper division courses with one in analysis, one in algebra, and one in geometry, discrete, or applied mathematics. We have optional emphases in mathematics. These include applied mathematics, financial mathematics, mathematical economics, mathematics education for people who want to teach high school, and a data science emphasis, which does require additional computer science courses. We have minors in both computer science and mathematics. The students who are minoring in our subjects take a subset of the classes required for the majors. Computer science minors take the first year sequence, CS 10, 60, and 61. Discrete mathematics, the beginning engineering classes 20 and 21, and then three upper division computer science courses. Whereas our math majors take the calculus sequence 11 through 14, and either abstract algebra or linear algebra, and then three upper division mathematics courses. We do accept AP classes for credit. If you take computer science A and get a three, then the computer science and engineering school will give you credit for their first programming class, CSYNC 10 in the lab. And if you get a four or a five, you would get credit in the engineering school and you'd also get credit for our beginning class, CS 10. If you take the calculus AB exam and get a four or a five, you get credit for the first quarter of calculus, which is math 11, and then four units of elective credit. Whereas if you take calculus BC and get a three, you'd get credit for math 11. If you earn a four or a five, you'll get credit for our first two quarters of math, of calculus, math 11 and 12, and then four units of elective credit. And we expect these uh, to, to remain unchanged even though the AP exams will be covering a subset of the complete material because of the school shutdowns. So what's the difference between computer science and computer science and engineering? I think the two names really describe the difference. The computer science and engineering degree is a computer science degree within a college of or within the engineering school. So it's a computer science and engineering degree. In our department, the, college, the computer science degree in the College of Arts and Science has room for electives, which would emphasize breadth within, within the major. It's an emphasis on the science and applications. You have the ability to double major or create a focus. We have lots of students who double major in computer science and mathematics or computer science and 
economics or computer science and business. Um, these are all possibilities within our major because we have much more, much more flexibility. In addition to that, if you don't declare as a CS major until later in your career at Santa Clara University, you can still finish within four years in our department because we don't have so many um, extra requirements that are specified by the engineering program. Our students are allowed to take any computer science and engineering class that they like, just like the computer science and engineering students can take any of our classes. And in fact, there are common courses in both majors. The computer science and engineering degree in the engineering school is within an engineering degree. So it's a program specified by the accreditation board for engineering school, it's called ABET. Because of that, there are lots of requirements outside of the computer science footprint, which include things like chemistry and general engineering courses. Because of that, there are very few electives. There's very little room to add um, extra classes within the four years. And the emphasis is on the design and engineering within computer science. In addition, the engineering school does have graduate programs, whereas the College of Arts and Science does not have graduate programs. Both majors take a common set of mathematics and computer science courses, and I'll show you those requirements shortly. And there is an option of doing a five-year combined bachelor's of science degrees in computer science in our department, and then a fifth year getting a master's of science degree in computer engineering. And the URL for that is below. So if we look at the major requirements for computer science and engineering and the computer science in the College of Arts and Science, just within the computer science footprint, so this does not include extra requirements within the engineering school that have nothing to do with computer science. You'll see that the requirements within both majors are nearly identical. Both sets of students take four quarters of calculus. The engineering students take ordinary differential equations, whereas our computer science students don't take that. Both students take discrete mathematics. It's actually the same course taught in our department, but it's cross-listed as an engineering class and a math class. Um, the engineering students have a beginning programming sequence taught in C, whereas the computer science students have a beginning programming sequence taught in C++. Both students take en CS Engineering 20 and 21. They take linear algebra or numerical analysis in the computer engineering department, whereas our students take linear algebra. Both take probability, operating systems, theory of algorithms, formal languages, or theories of automata and languages. And then the engineering school requires seven upper division courses, four of which are specified by the degree. And our department has five upper division courses, three of which are specified by the emphasis. And I want to, to tell you though that most computer science and computer science students in the College of Arts and Science take many, many more upper division computer science and computer engineering classes than are required. So what can you expect in the computer science and mathematics department? We have about 30, 300 computer science majors, 30% of which are female, and about 180 mathematics majors, about half are female. Our department is very student focused. We have small classes with the lower division sizes about 25 to 40, and upper division classes around five to 35 students. This gives us plenty of opportunities to form personal relationships with our students. We know their names. Um, we work in office hours with them daily. Um, our attention is on our undergraduates. We have no graduate students, and so we, we do research with our undergraduates, and uh, our focus is entirely on them. We have nationally recognized faculty who are uh, known throughout the professional organizations in mathematics and computer science. We have plenty of resources to help our majors. The uh, Math Computer Science Society is a social group that organizes uh, pizza nights, game nights, movie nights, karaoke nights, things like that. The Sussman Room is a commons room where students in both of our majors get together to work with each other on homework or programming assignments. Faculty mailboxes are in that room so that we often run into our students there and have conversations. We have a math learning center which offers tutoring and study skills tutoring for our lower division classes. Faculty hold copious amounts of office hours, generally four to six office hours a week, in addition to um, meeting our students in meetings. And that's where some of our very best teaching takes place in a one-on-one -on -one environment. Every major within our department is assigned a faculty advisor who meets with them at least once a year, more likely two or three times a year, 
to make sure they stay on track to graduate within four years to help them with um, careers and graduate school and things like that. Most of our faculty are research active and so there are plenty of opportunities for students in both computer science and mathematics to work on research with faculty members. And then there are lots of internships in the area. We're in Silicon Valley, so internships are very common. Um, with more of our resources, we have a several times a, a year speaking arrangement called Bay Area Mathematical Adventures. This is co-hosted with San Jose State University. And we have um, well-known mathematicians give talks that are that are pitched at bright high schoolers, although people of all backgrounds come and enjoy these talks. We have um, that bi-weekly colloquia where um, other members of faculties from, from around the area come and talk about their research in both computer science and mathematics. We have mentoring and outreach in computer science, uh, honor societies in both mathematics and computer science, and then on-campus professional organizations for computer science and for mathematics. So there are plenty of questions that I'm sure you have, and there here's some of the common ones that I've encountered giving this kind of a presentation over the years. So what do our students do after graduation? The majority of our students are hired by local tech companies, which include Apple, Google, Facebook, Twitter, Atlassian, Intel, Cisco, Accenture, Airbnb, Microsoft, NASA, just about any company you've heard of locally hires our students. Most of our math majors work as data scientists, financial analysts, statisticians, work for biotech companies or other high-tech companies, and maybe about five to 10% in any given year of our students do go on to graduate schools to either earn a master's degree or a PhD. Do companies prefer a degree in computer science and engineering or computer science in the College of Arts and Science? No, they don't. Students in, are both getting degrees in computer science. The context in which it's taken is irrelevant to people who are hiring. Both students get hired by the same sorts of companies. Do most students do inter internships? Yes, most of our students, especially in computer science, do have internships during the summer, especially the summer after their junior year and before their senior year. And the companies that they do internships are generally the same companies that end up hiring them. And how do students get these internships? There are on-campus recruiting fairs. The Career Center has um, activities that help promote internships. There is an internal website called Handshake that is only for Santa Clara students, and jobs posted there have a dedicated research, uh, dedicated recruiter looking for Santa Clara grad or Santa Clara students to fill those jobs. They use uh, other professional organizations like LinkedIn, et cetera. Is there opportunity for student research? Yes, most of our faculty are research active and work with our undergraduate students exclusively. Can a student transfer from the department? Of computer science and mathematics in the College of Arts and Science to the School of Engineering? The answer to this is maybe. The CSENG department does require an application, as does the engineering school in general, and a success in a collection of courses, and these are specified on their website. And the CSENG program is impacted, so there may not be room to transfer, even if you have shown success in those courses. Can you transfer from the engineering school to the computer science program in the College of Arts and Science. This can be done. Anyone can transfer to the College of Arts and Science. We're a very large program and there's always room for more. And you can declare a computer science major after you've succeeded in at least two of the classes required for the computer science major. Does the computer science major have a senior de design project like the School of Engineering? No, we do not have a formal project like that. However, many of our students do work with the engineering students on their senior design projects. And many of our students also work with our computer science faculty on long-term research projects. A um, very common question is, this computer science and engineering degree more rigorous, more code focused, more prestigious or harder than the degree in the College of Arts and Science? And this is absolutely not true. The only difference between the two degrees is really the context in which the degree is taken. You saw earlier that the, the list of classes required for either degree within the computer science footprint are nearly identical. So the difference is, are you working within an engineering school, which has a lot of classes that are outside of the computer science that are required, 
or are you working in the College of Arts and Science where you have more flexibility to broaden your degree, to double major, to create something that's a, a little more tailored to your interests? And who can I contact for more information? Please feel free to email me. My email is given here. I'm happy to answer any questions that you have. And finally, I hope that this has been informative and that we see you in September. Thank you.